copy this, enlarge it, paste it there. To, you know, you can put all the steps in it and it does all the work for you. But it's still the soft skill of how does it look? Because it cannot do the soft skill. AI cannot only do the hard skill. It can only do one, two, three, four steps. And welcome to a new episode of Digital Coffee Marketing Brew. And I'm your host, Brett Deister. And as always, please subscribe to this podcast on all your favorite podcasting apps. But this week, we're going to talk about marketing and creativity. I know the things that don't really seem to matter or go together, they actually do go together pretty well. You just don't really know about that. But this week, I have Michael with me, and he has a vast experience and knowledge in those types of things, especially high level authority in marketing and sales. And he's passionate about helping others achieve the success and growth for your business. So welcome to the show, Michael. Thanks, Brett, for having me. I love to have a canvas to paint on. <laughs> Thank you for providing it. <laughs> you are welcome. But the first question as all my guests is, are you a coffee or tea drinker? Uh, I like coffee, but I actually am a tea drinker, but I love, I like both, but, but I, I'm more, if I had to choose, I'm a tea drinker because I drink tea all, all day long, but I love a cup of coffee. So for me, coffee is really the, it's like, it's the icing on the cake. You know, when I just sit down in the afternoon and drink a cup of coffee, mm, I mean, I'm not just drinking coffee just to keep awake. I keep coffee because I really enjoy it, you know? And with some whipped cream on top. Mmm. Yeah. Super. Is there like a specific type of like roast that you like, or are you just like any type of coffee as long as you can put whatever you want in it? Uh I like, you know, I don't like the heart uh what what Starbucks is like heart roasted i like it not so over roasted because for me it's it's like that is a little bit over roasted i like it stronger roasted but not overly roasted you know not 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 where it's bitter it becomes bitter you know bad bitter not there's a good bitter and a bad bitter and that's like it's too you know you know what i mean i don't even tell you you're a coffee drinker well i mean you're being generous they just burn their beans uh, that's why I say you're being yeah. very generous about it. Yeah, yeah, that, and, that, and and I understand. Perhaps the people like it that way. They think it's better because it smells better and draws people in. But I think from the taste, it's it's too strong. Like you said, it's over roasted. Got you. And I gave a brief explanation of your expertise. Can you give our listeners a little bit more about who you are and what you do? Yeah. I was born in Austria, Vienna, and I was a sick child. I went to school, and uh, in school I got punched in the face twice the second time. And uh, because I couldn't read, I stuttered. Uh, I only have eight uh, years of college, and not, not eight years of school. No, I don't have college. Eight years of school, and two of them I had to repeat. But in Europe, they don't take you with you. And then I got into art and art saved literally my life. Like it saved so many people, you know, when you uh, adolescent, you want to belong and whatever your girlfriend dumps you or something. And then you see the movie or you see a, a, a song, it, it, it carries you through. And for me, you know, I created a lot of art and uh, went into music and then uh, was a DJ and then sold uh, tapes out of my trunk and then produced fashion shows. And at 30, I figured out, yeah, I looked at a CV and, and looked through it and I said, you know, really, I, I couldn't be an a accountant or a, a manager or anything. I am an artist. And I think that was major that I saw that myself, that feedback, you know, hey, I, I tried really, but I, no school education, nothing. And, and uh, when I said that uh, at 30, when I said I'm an artist, I can't be something else. So even if you, Brett, say, oh, I don't see you as an artist. I, I am an artist because, I, you know, it, even if the artist in the eye of the beholder, but but I couldn't do anything else. So I had to say I'm an artist. And so it was a very strong decision. Not that I say, oh, I'm an artist. Look at my stuff. But but by the internal decision that I made opened me up to a lot of stuff. 
and then jobs came, the right jobs came, the, you know, and uh, I worked for Robert Evans, who did The Godfather and uh, Chinatown, and I was city arts commissioner of Newport Beach, uh, uh, and, and, and things just fell into, not that I went for them, it, they just fell into a certain, but because I had that, I think I owned, you know, I'm an artist. Uh -huh. And the people say, oh, this guy knows about art, you know, but I don't know anything about the product. I know all about the creation. Like we're talking about marketing. We will talk about marketing. I know all about the creation, never about the product, you know, because the product can be good or bad. You know, there's, there's super companies that, that make a brand and it, it tanks and then they make a brand just willy nilly and fast and it, it explodes, you know? Got you. I'm, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the part of the thing we want to talk about is like the create the creativity in marketing. It, it for a lot of people doesn't seem like it because marketing is very analytical. You look at the data, you try to figure out the best way to go with your campaigns, but there's a lot of creativity. So, I mean, how do you start with developing like a good strategy for your product? Should you use your product? Should you figure out what do you want out of a product? Is that where she, marketers should start? Yes. I think I think today, especially, Brett, you know, 30 years ago, you could do whatever you want. But today, because it's so fast, it's so uh, quick, and it's everybody knows everything right away, you got you gotta it has to be an extension of you. Every product that that you know, that's what I keep telling people. If you create a car that you don't love to drive yourself then don't be in the car business. If you don't uh, make a, a toothpaste that you love, that's it. This is, I, I never would buy another toothpaste than this. Then you are in the right business. Uh, it has to be you. There has to be something in you in the other, because it gives you the self-esteem to say, you know, Brad, I know you're using this and this toothpaste, but my toothpaste, I've never had a better toothpaste, especially those two flavors. Try it. And that's the best marketing because because you will feel that I'm convinced about my product. I'm not trying to be systemic about it. You know, oh, you need to say this and this and this, and you have to say, oh, all the teeth are falling out, but my tooth, you know, like say the problem first, right? With the other thing, you, all your teeth fall out, my toothpaste is the best. That's, uh, that, that doesn't work. That, that, that worked in, you know, 20 years ago, but now, now it doesn't. So now you really have to express your, essence what that is what you have and when we look at the businesses you know 95 percent of businesses fail after the third year i mean in the first three years 95 percent businesses fail because of cash flow so if you don't have your passion in the product it's hard to 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 sell it it's hard to because we all actually all are human centric which means we are each one is one of one and the way we communicate it's like what we communicate now is through our six senses and we dance with six senses. You and I don't know each other, but we can, we have to, it's natural that you and I can talk to each other. Not that I teach you or you teach me so that we just dance with each other and open our perspective. When you open the perspective, that's where you actually see the human potential that you and I can actually, you know, you ask me a question. I never thought about it, you know, and then wow, what comes out, you know? And, and I think the marketing, the essence of every business marketing or whatever you do for the, for the masses has to be a representation of you. I mean, look, look at who is, and politicians are for everyone, right? So you hear nothing about old politicians like unless Lincoln and Washington or Kennedy, right? But you hear, you know, Picasso, and they are all unique people, you know. Uh, Frida Kahlo. You need you need all these. Uh, when it comes to artists, you know them. You know Mona Lisa, Da Vinci. You 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 know those things because they are themselves. The politicians try to, to appease everyone, and that's how you should do your marketing. You should be. It should be having something of yourself, and I think people start to get that, but they're still too afraid to really push that you know i think that's where the creative creativity comes you're not going to appease everybody not every business is going to appease to everybody but in this appeasement era i would say because 
I would say a lot of PR people do appease a little too much to a certain yeah. extent where it's like, you, you really shouldn't just appease people just to appease them. If you really care yeah. about it, then obviously you can apologize, but don't apologize for every single little infraction that happens because yeah. then you're spending all day apologizing and you look weak in to a certain extent. So, I mean, how, how do we become creative marketers find our niche, but just don't care about everything else. Because like you said, there's Picasso, there's Leonardo da Vinci from the politicians, there's Lincoln. He didn't appease everybody. <laughs> he pissed off a whole, and, a whole South. I mean, yeah, exactly. That's pretty yeah. hard. Yeah. I think, I think that you can't, first of all, you know, and I think obviously this awareness is the key. Think about when you married your wife. When you married your wife, uh, first of all, you didn't know what, what kind of wedding ring she wants. You know, I mean, I was with my wife two years, three years before. I I would never have the guts to just give her a ring and says, because that's what I like, you should wear. No, you can. Even a wife, a person that you are with all the time, you wouldn't uh, buy a partner of, of you a jacket because you wouldn't know what he likes. You you say, okay, he likes blue, but when you get actually in the store, which is the same as with your wife, your wife says, oh, you there's a blue jacket you like, and right next day is a red jacket, right? And she says, no, no, I like this red jacket. And she's like, what? You always wear blue? No, but this red jacket I like. We, we are all one of one. We need to really let that in. We are not a generalization. All men are this way, all men, a woman are this way. I mean, you know, men, there's more feminine men uh, than any female, and there's more masculine uh, females than that any any male. So we have to stop generalizing and 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 do the one of oneness where they say, "Oh my God, this is really interesting." You know, that's attention plus marketing. If you do something that's hundred percent bread, and I see whatever the product or service you give me, I said, "Wow." Oh, and then when I know you, I said, yeah, that is totally, that is totally Brad. But I wouldn't even think about it. So, but, but when it's unique, you look at this and say, I have never seen something like that. Then you have the attention, number one, you want the attention, right? And then will people, once you have the attention, people will look at it. But if everything looks the same, I mean, look at AI gave, and we are both podcasters, AI uh, with the podcasting. Now, every, every podcast looks the same. All the shields of of podcasting, when you look at all the the promo sheets, they all look the same because they're all but because because AI is a generalization. It is a generalization of what has been uploaded since two thousand whatever or has been uploaded on the internet, and and so that's it's blah, it's boring. So so it's very important that you have a feeling of. And you love the product and service. If you don't love the product and service, you know, in the old days, you can say, I'm going to make a gardening business. And you don't like gardening or anything. You just got a couple of people say, okay, we are gardening team. You bought a truck and we rent out and did gardening. You can't do that anymore. You can't. I mean, you can try it. You have no chance. Hmm. And so, I mean, <clears throat> How do we get to that? Because marketing, especially in 2024, everybody's talking about AI. I mean, I, I'll be fair. I use AI tools because I'm a one man show and I need to automate things. So how do we bring back that uniqueness into an AI filled industry, including podcasting and marketing and PR, because everybody's talking about AI. It's like the number one thing for the past two years has been AI and how to a certain extent, great AI is. Now, AI is AI is a tool. It's like a hammer, right? Uh, if you don't want to find a rock to get a, get a nail to hammer in, AI gives you what you, you know, copy this, enlarge it, paste it there. To, you know, you can put all the steps in it and it does all the work for you. But it's still the soft skill of how does it look? Because it cannot do the soft skill. AI can not only do the hard skill, it can only do one, two, three, four steps. It, and the steps have given by you. If you say, you take one step, four step, eight step, it's not going to work. It will do the fun for eight, 
but it will not it will not you would not have a flow you are the person that have the soft skill that says okay that flows right that's the first step that's the second that's the third step so it is fantastic to copy like a copy machine to copy remember the old thing where we have to in school we had to uh, do it. I mean, today you you click them you don't need to think you make a photo and, and print it so yeah it's a great tool it's a fantastic tool but if you want attention to your stuff you want to market your podcast you want to do your stuff it has to be your essence it has to be or whatever you love if you like love orange then do orange as your thing uh and don't do what i see with ai so much you know all these uh artifacts they look all the same it's it feels like the every but but it drew the same thing it, it, it doesn't look like oh that's brad's that's michael's that's somebody else it looks it looks the same and so how you can how can you ever marketing you know we're talking about marketing. how can you ever marketing when everything looks the same you know and marketing also i think it's important that people really know that marketing it hasn't it's one one percent of gdp since the second world war it's not a growing company it's basically you have gold colgate and i have crest and i'm gonna market crest and then you know less people just get from colgate to crest it's just moving from one to the another so it is not marketing doesn't mean you were ever done because even if you're done with marketing you have to keep marketing because because somebody else will take your stuff unless you have one of a one and you gotta somehow make a one of a one either the product represents you because you are one of one you know nobody is like brett there's no other brett in this whole world like you or no mother michael and and that's the only that's the only way that we can uh and i know it's hard because the industry says do what you make money with do you know it's generalizing but really the generalizing does not help anyone because you hear about viral videos and podcasting and 1% of podcasters make 98% of the podcast revenues 1% and the same thing is 1% of uh of uh, viral videos makes uh 98% of 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 the thing so the whole industry shares one percent except one person that makes most you know that's and and obviously systems always market oh brett you know let's say you have an ep episode that is unbelievable and it's going goes viral but and we don't know where it virus and nobody can predict that otherwise everybody would do viral stuff and let's say we have that so then then we'll you know youtube will say brett is a you know thing and you get an award and all that stuff and then you get and then later on of you get advertisers to to be on your show but 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 the chance of that happening that's why i say you need to enjoy what you're doing if i don't love to to talk to you right now i'm i'm basically hurting myself and i hurt you because what should we talk if we don't want to talk with each other you know i mean it's just you have to enjoy the time otherwise the time is over and you die and you have done all the stuff for a hope that this is going to happen and and this is what we sell each other we sell each other a lot of hope you know oh you do this you come to me and i'm gonna get you through no no i can just get you the not I, that's why i say i don't have three steps or five steps or what to do i say what i did and hope i open your perception that because i know you have one of one perception and and it it's something you can use from that to open your own perception to to get get more more you to get more essential for you um that you know all the leadership coaches how many leadership coaches there's not as much leaders as me leadership coaches and why want people leadership coach because they want to finally be a leader or a successful person then they can, that they can do whatever they want to do meaning to be the one of oneness but you know we know because we know leaders when you are in in a leadership you're the least free you cannot move once you are a leader you you think you're free then no you have to play the game more than anybody else and then the longer you are a leader the more disconnected you are from the masses 
So I never want to be be disconnected from masses. So that's why I never want to be Elon Musk or anybody because it's crazy. That's that that is not freedom. That's 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 torture. You know. Well, true. For some people, it's torture. For other people, they actually. I don't know if they enjoy it, but they do want to lead people in a better direction. For the most part, not all leaders are the same, and some yeah. can be pretty bad leaders at the same time. But I mean, is, is this all part of? When I say I say more discernment than anything else is for people that don't want discernment it basically means wisdom, understanding where to go, under basically using your intelligence to figure out people, using your intelligence to figure out strategies. So in this time, is it the, to discern how to differentiate yourself or your business from the pack? Because you said one percent of viral video or yeah. viral videos that do the best is are about one one percent that's why it's called viral because yeah. a very small amount yeah. of videos yeah. get super popular for a week maybe so mm. is is there a bunch of like creative i guess creative thinking but also creative discernment or wisdom to figure out all these inroads figure out who you are figure out yeah. what strategies is the best the most the, the most successful percentage when the people that actually look at creativity like I do is the one that not to be different, to be different sake, to be you. Because if I want to just be different or different sake, it, it's, it's a headache for me. Let's say I'm, I'm going to create a, a, a podcast that is uh, we're standing on, on our heads and we're talking to each other and somebody comes by and spits on us just to be different, right? Just to get attention. And, and first of all, we're not going to have fun with that, you know, perhaps once, but then it's not going to be fun every week, you know, standing on our hands. And, and, and that is not, that's not us. We need to find what feels good to us. Like you don't make a thing about a theater. You don't make a podcast about the theater because you like this. You like the coffee, the marketing, that is you. And that's where in, in the direction that feels good for you. And you might in a year saying, you know, I'm going even in something else, in the, the more the self-awareness. I go more in the, you know, and just coffee and self-awareness, which came from marketing. We, we all develop. We all not, not the same. And that, I think, is the key because then you can work 10 hours a day because you love what you're doing. When you love what you're doing, you can, it's, it's also fulfilling and there's a secret about fulfilling. It's like a, an emotional feedback loop for you. Because what fulfills me is different than what fulfills you. So when it fulfills you, your job with your podcast, that means you're on the right track. That doesn't mean you've got to get a lot of money, but you as an individual are on the right track of your path. And the money comes perhaps in 10 years. But when you do things that, that really fulfill you, First of all, you're not stressed. You're not constantly stressed. And say, okay, this is what I do. I'm not making money, but, but I'm fulfilled. I'm making just enough to survive, but I'm fulfilled. And, and I think that's uh, good to know, you know. Um, and, and if you want to, we know from, from creation, from the, from, from the, most the, the most percentage that you be loved by everybody. First of all, nobody can say it. The best advertising marketing cannot say this this uh, campaign will work and you know from fifth avenue in the old days if coca-cola came to fifth avenue and said we, we we want to use that company versus that company they gave you a guarantee that 10 percent they they give you that, that you will increase with the marketing 10 percent it's not a, a available anymore it that that mo we moved out of that era because it was so little, so you made a little attention and you you got it. You you had a sale. Uh, today we it's hard to, very hard to do. Even AI cannot. Uh, and 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 they didn't even pay that. Uh, they paid that, and it wasn't because uh, the the marketing company says, uh, yeah, we, we we guarantee that, and if we guarantee, we give you free advertising because it didn't get. 10% or 5% increase, you know, for their marketing million dollar marketing campaign. And I think, I think, so what, what I want to come back to the, what you said, what can I do creatively, right? Creatively is first of all, do what you want to do. 
So if you sell it at toothpaste, I'm just using that as a, as a thing, and you love animals, then, then just say, kind of make an advertising, because animals and toothpaste are never together, right? Then have animals in a way, in the right way, together with the toothpaste, you know? So the, 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 the cat want to steal your cool toothpaste, you know? And said, yeah, because it's all natural. I mean, it's just, but but it has to be not different, but it has to be you. Not I, I wouldn't, if I don't like animals, I was think, okay, Brad told me to use animals. No, I wouldn't do that. That is not the right thing. If I love animals they, and I love the toothpaste that I have, I feel my toothpaste is the best toothpaste ever. And I love animals. And I said, okay, I make an advertising marketing campaign where I do, or have my, the toothpaste with the, the doggy face on it or whatever. And it's not a dog, yeah, not a dog toothpaste. Not, you can just come up with stuff. There's always, you know, um, with, I mean, I could come up endless with stuff, but I have to like it. I have to, it has to be me. I like, uh, you know, animals. I don't like uh, toothpaste particularly, you know, so it would be bad for me to create a toothpaste but I could do something else what I like, you know, a, 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 a certain food or something that I really enjoy or something and say, even my dog wants to eat that food or something. So that would be for me. I hope I give your listeners a little a feeling of, of, of uh, how to, if it's not joy, don't do it. If it doesn't fulfill you, don't do the job. And so how can marketers like stay that creative space when they're working, let's, let's just like put it practically, like, could it be going for a walk? Could it be like writing something, handwriting? Because handwriting can actually like induce yeah. a lot of creativity. Is it a lot of those aspects of it? Like how can they keep creative without losing that creative spark? Because we lose it every once in a while. Only when we try to, to be uh, in a time frame or when we be uh, linear, when we get linear. Uh, I what I do because I'm so nervous. I'm dysgraphia with m my hands and stuff. I I do a voice voicemail. So I, I have my phone. I, I'll go for a walk, and I, I put it in the thing. I never get creative when I look at. Uh, I can get creative in an art show when I go to to a museum or to an art show outside in, in outside art. Or I can. In the morning, it's a different thing. And some, some people are really good at night. So I was actually a night person. I really got creative like eight, nine o'clock at night and work till four o'clock in the morning. And now I'm, I'm like, I'm going to bed at, at eight or nine and I get up at four and at four o'clock. Oh my God. I mean, it just, it, 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 you are always, and it's a, it's a practice, you know, the practice of, how, how creative people can keep stay, staying thing. It's the practice because you basically have a communication with your non-physical, right? Like you, when you sleep, that you're, you're not in the physical. So with your non-physical and say, okay, I feel like yellow. Okay, I make yellow. And it's not that yellow, okay? Because my, my phys, non-physical self says, it's not the right yellow. So they have to write yellow and then say, okay, what, what am I putting in? Okay, uh, a pink? Uh, orange, uh, green. Ah, green. I put green in, and, and then you 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 build that up and you communicate. And the more you communicate, the more you create, the better you, your communication gets, and the better the product becomes. So if but but I think it is the the best marketers are the ones that know the person that hires them. So the best marketers are, are they really, they're not just saying, okay, Brent, okay, uh, uh, give me a hundred grand and, and I'm going to make you a marketing thing. Those, that's not, you dance with the, because you are representing that essence of that person that has that service or, or product. And I think when you talk to a person uh, and you become friendly with them, not, not in, a, in a professional way, but just normal, just like what we're doing now. We're professional, but we're not talking like, okay, Brad, what else can I do for you? Cost you another half an hour, cost you this, you know? No, it's just to have a normal talk, go for a coffee. That's, I love that, that, that you combine the marketing and coffee. Yes, go for a coffee 
you know, go for a coffee and, and talk or go for a beer and just sit outside and say, what is your vision? What, what, what do you want a toothpaste? Is that the, the right thing? Or perhaps you want a, a mouthwash. Perhaps it's not the toothpaste you want to start. Perhaps marketing is better when we start with a mouthwash because you have a higher chance. I'm just making stuff up. Or you say, I'm making a chewing gum. You know, how is the chewing gum business? It, it, you know, because you're very oral, you, you like the toothbrush and you like the toothing. So let's feel it out, feel what feels better. And then we can always have the toothbrush the, uh, later. We can start with the thing, you know, with the, with the mouthwash. We can start with the chewing gum. And, and, and we're, we're also when you include the customer, when in the old days, you know, in the old days, how it was, Brad, right? Oh, you have no idea. I'm the marketing manager. Just, you know, you hire me. And then, then you come back with all these um, proposals and the, the, the guy doesn't like it. So why even doing, why are you jump, jumping to all these hoops? Why not just go out with him and say, and help him say, okay, what, what kind? Yellow? You like, what? what no, red. I like red. Okay, red. Because... It's not that you have something that sells that. You create, co-create that with the guy who pays you to do marketing. You create that with him. You collaborate with him. And, and, and then also he feels very good about your work because he was part of it. You know, it's just, and, and it, it gives you friendship for, for life. I mean, I've worked with people for life because because they like working, they, they like the, the dance. And, and every time we talk to each other, we get clear on things and try things out. And we both know we have no superpower that it's going to be the marketing of the century. It's good marketing. or And we also know how much we market. There's another thing also where to place the marketing. Should I do it social media? Should I do it, you know, uh, outside with campaigns outside on the street? Should I do, hand out leaflets? Shall I hand out presents? Shall I give coupons? There's so many things. And I think that when you hand out coupons, you today, in the old times, it was good. But today, it's it's cheap. It's it's a cheap, you know, you hand out coupons. Oh, you want to save on laundry? Here's a laundry detergent, cheap thing you know but it's nothing special i think people like the bespoke i think in general even if it's cheap and it's bespoke the people like which you see in 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 in, in sneakers everybody has special sneakers i mean there's everybody finds out and this is confirming that everybody is one of one and they want to have their own thing and it makes them fulfills them when they choose a sneaker and you know the whole thing about the see that was in, perfect marketing with all the cars, right? You you can order your Porsche in, in whatever you want, any, not even Porsche, Toyota. You can order exactly what you want. And that binds you, that it's not attention, that binds you to that brand. Because, you know, because you get a Toyota that you don't have to accept a black interior. You can order a Toyota with a, a green interior or red interior, you know? And I think it's all the connection, how you connect, because then, because what these people then do is, if if I see Brad, you know, so you you bought that Toyota and you got your own yellow interior, right? It's a bright yellow interior, and 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 you love it. And I said, God, you have bought you you have bought you've got to get your yellow, but you become an advertising for me market, because I said. What was the car that Brad had that made their own thing? I would never do a yellow, but, and then becomes, do you see that? When when human work human centrically with each other, collaborate and not selling, I am, you're paying me for this and this, then you, it keeps on going. The marketing keeps on going and going and going and going. I mean, look, the Porsche has nothing to do. They, they do the same freaking car just with a motor or something different. But they do the same freaking car since 1937 or something. It's just, it's just, it's basically the same shape. You know, it's, 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 and it's the top, 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 top thing. And there's nothing magical about their shape because there were so many cars, the E-Type, the Jaguar E-Type, they were all very similar. Well, they're not good. You know, why are not they number one? 
It is, it is, it is the connection with the customer that you want always in marketing. And Porsche are known as good, 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 really long lasting cars and stuff, you know? And so people are listening to this and they're basically wondering where can they find you online to learn more about what you do and maybe more about how to be more creative. Yeah. So number one, uh, michaelm.com, very simple. Michael M, Michael with two L's, michaelm.com. There you can access my art, uh, my music, my um, podcasts, my articles. I write a lot of articles. They're all for free. Uh, I, my podcast is 30 seconds every Saturday, and it's just a quote. And if you want to know about marketing and you want to know about creation, the creative process, not about, you know, Leonardo da Vinci, who was in, no, I'm not going to talk about that. I'm talking about our superpower, the number one superpower which is uh, creativity. We are collective creator species that work synergistically. That's why we're all one of one. And we dance with each other to find out synergistically how good we are together. And 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 so that's, that's every Saturday, 30 seconds, you think it is a question also, and you answer that for yourself. Because I'm not telling, there's no answer for everyone. We cannot generalize. We need to stop generalizing and finding out what is us, and then the world becomes really interesting. Yeah, when when I can see you in driving in a car that you put together, that is interesting. Not when you buy a, a white car that everybody else has with a black interior. You know, that's just. Any final thoughts for listeners? Uh, final thoughts: You are one of one, uh, and uh, you have also one of one. You know, you are one of one. You have. On fingerprints, on eyes, on the, nobody in the world, 8 billion people are one one And you also have a own life perspective. And that should also clear something up in marketing. Because look at your own family. You should have the same life perspective. You should be the same political party. You should be the same everything. And you're totally different. My, I have three siblings, and they're all different. They have all the different life view, uh, life perspective. And and they're all totally different, as you know, you know, your own, from your own thing. And when you see that, when you're aware of that, this is my final thought. And also when you're aware of that, you will be a much better marketer. You will be a much better business person because you say the only thing you can trust is your own uniqueness. That's what you're going to, you can't trust somebody else's because there's nobody whom you're going to do. Everybody's different. All right. Thank you, Michael, for joining Digital Coffee Marketing Brew and sharing knowledge on marketing and creativity. Thank you, Brett. I really appreciate you. And thank you, as always. Please subscribe to Digital Coffee Marketing Brew on all your favorite podcasting apps. A five-star review it really does help with the rankings. And join us next week as we talk to another great thought leader in the PR marketing industry. All right, guys, stay safe. Get to understanding how you can be more creative and help your product sell and maybe help you sell more. And see you next week. Later.